Well, good morning. What an honor, just a joy, a privilege it is to gather with you for worship. It is your face, your song, your presence, which is a primary way that I know and I believe that Christ is risen and that Christ is here. For those of you who are real Christians and worship in our early service, welcome to the late heathen service. We're grateful for your generosity. Today is a special day. Today is uh, Trinity Sunday. Uh, around the world, the church is celebrating our God, three in one, one in three, or as Peter Rollins calls it, the non-oneness of the one. Interestingly, our lectionary places Genesis 1 as the Hebrew scripture on Trinity Sunday. It is a Trinitarian poem, possibly. And that is our hope and, and our goal this morning is to experience this poem, this creation story. And so we encourage you this morning to breathe deeply, to not be in a rush, and to experience and share in this poem this story. We're going to do a lot of things a little bit differently, and if they all bomb, you can blame it on me. <laughs> I believe it's going to go very well and should be very special. I uh, would like to extend a word of gratitude uh, to David and Sarah Cameron, who did so much work in coordinating so much of what you'll see in your experience and the details. We have a number of volunteers. We're here early this morning uh, rehearsing, and we're so grateful for you all. The voice of God will be played by Brent Gwynn in the back. He'll be reading our scripture. Our scripture will be a little bit different uh, today. Uh, we invite you, yeah, particularly we would encourage you to read along with the scriptures. You can do so in your order of worship, but I think the screens actually really help today. And so as you see the green, the bold green text, that is for the congregation to read. And so if you would join with us in reading um, reading the bold uh, scripture. Uh, many of you have already asked me, uh, what am I to do with my dirt? And the fact that you haven't thrown it already at me is very gracious. Uh, you'll be invited in just a little bit to come forward as you're able to share in offering uh, the dirt as part of our offering to the Lord. If you don't uh, desire to come forward, we'll forward, we have uh, ushers who will help receive and, and collect that dirt. So you just, just hold on in just a minute and we'll enjoy this together. I invite you to take a breath. May the God who made you, the Christ who saved you, and the Spirit who bathes you, be with you and bless you now and forever. In God a simple song, loud, loud, make it up as you go. Sing the Lord a new song to praise him, to bless him, to bless the Lord. I will sing his praises while I live all of my days.
Blessed is the man that praises him. Blessed is the man that praises him. Lord, 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 and walks in his ways. For the Lord I will sing, I will bring upon my right hand, and the sun shall not smite me by day. I'm singing, Lord, a Lord. For the Lord is my shade, is the shade upon my right hand, and the sun shall not smite me by day, nor the moon by night. Blessed is the man that praises him, Lord, 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 and walks in his ways. The face of the waters.
please pray with me. God of creation, we praise you for your creativity. God, we praise you for your beauty. We praise you for your uniqueness. And we praise you especially for the creation of us, for your breath of life that you have breathed into us and into this place. Lord, speak to us today. Allow us to see something new in this story, God. Walk with us along the journey. Allow us to just sit and see the beauty and feel your presence in this place. Lord, for it is in your most holy name, Creator, Christ, and Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. Boys and girls, I invite you to join me today over here, just a little bit off to the side for our children's time. If y'all want to come on down and join me. Right over here. We're going to sit over here by Marilyn, my friend. Y'all come sit around me. I'm going to give some of you, I don't have one for every person, so we're going to share, okay? I'm going to give each of you, just pass one every other person. Adela, will you hold one of these for me? Thank you. Max, will you hold one of these for me? Okay. Thank you. Here, Barrett, will you hold one for me? Clark, you want to hold one for me? Will you all pass one to Clark? Here you go. Darcy, you want to hold one for me? Okay. I have one more. Would you hold it for me, Caitlin? Okay. All right. Okay. Y'all, I think we are lucky. We get the most important part in this whole service. I think it's my opinion. We get to do the most important part because did you know that you guys, every week I get to talk about how much you all let your light shine, right? And our part of the service is talking about the creation of light. Could plants survive without light? No. No. Could we survive if we lived in a dark cave our whole lives? No. No. So if God says, I am the light of the world, can we survive without Christ in our lives? No. No. So we get the most important part of the service. We get to show everybody that Christ created light. And that light is in each one of us, and it's in each one of these friends out here, right? And so what we're going to do at the same time, and Ruthie, you're going to help us, right? All right. We're going to show everybody that God created light. So on, on the count of three, you're going to turn on. You've already got them on. So we can count from three, two, one. Will you please turn on our light, Ruthie? Turn on our light. Look at this beautiful light that shines in each and every one of you. And we are supposed to pass these lights on, right? The light that is inside of us. How are you going to pass your light on to others? How do you share your light? <laughs> yeah, we can tell people about Christ, about the light in our lives. We can tell people about the light that shines from heaven, the light that shines on us and through us. And because of you guys, we get to experience Christ. Yes. Oh, I'll fix that with a Band-Aid. All right, Lord. Uh, boys and girls, if you are going to preschool praise, you can walk with Miss Donna out if you're going back to your parents. And if I gave you a tea light, you can keep it. You can hang on to it, and you can have it. But don't turn it on during Ministry of Darkness, all right? Okay. All right, Ruthie, turn off our lights. You guys may walk back. Let's go. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day.
be a dome in the midst of the waters and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were under the dome from the waters that were above the dome. And it was so. God called the dome sky. And there was evening and there was morning the second day. the sky be gathered together in one place and let the dry land appear and it was so God called the dry land earth and the waters that were gathered together he called seas and God saw that it was good then God said let the earth put forth vegetation plants yielding seed and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with seed in it and it was so the earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seed in it. And God saw that it was good, and there was evening and there was morning the third day.
And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over day and over the night and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good and there was evening and there was morning the fourth day. And God said, Let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures, and let birds fly above the earth across the dome of the sky. So God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves of every kind, with which the waters swarm, and every winged bird of every kind. And God saw that it was good. God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fifth day.
And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures of every kind, cattle and creeping things, and wild animals of the earth of every kind. And it was so. God made the wild animals of the earth of every kind and the cattle of every kind and everything that creeps upon the ground of every kind. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let us make humans in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created humans in his image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. song to celebrate myself I'll sing this song with pride whatever I am is what God made and I have nothing to hide for God made me and God made you and God makes no mistakes so be yourself and I'll be me that's all
God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. God said, See, I have given you every plant yielding seed that is upon the face of all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food. And to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food. And it was so. God saw everything that he had made, and indeed it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning on the sixth day. Well, I'd like to talk about the elephant in the room. <laughs> I'm afraid any words that I could muster would fall short of how joyful, how meaningful it has been to experience this creation poem 
with you. I will be very brief. God created and called it good. All of this, the voice of God in the very beginning was called good. About a thousand years ago, the Holy Roman Church, there was only one church a thousand years ago, really. About a thousand years ago, a, a doctrine was developed known as original sin and derived from this fall story in Genesis 3. God created all of this and called it good. And there is such difficulty in life, isn't there? Such pain in our world, yes. And there is Genesis 3 within me. There are parts within me that are, yes, a broken, a selfish, sinful. But to place Genesis 3 before Genesis 1 is to place the wrong emphasis on the wrong syllable. Because what comes before Genesis 3 but Genesis? Yeah, man, you're good. And God creates humanity on this sixth day amongst all this goodness. God creates humanity in the very image of God and sees it all and says, this is very good. And if this were all the scripture we had, it would be more than enough. And if all we did as a church, if all we did as a faith community was get together one time a week and remind you, you are created in the image of God. God sees you and says, very good. If all we did we say, get out there this week and again be the image of God that is deep and first within you. You are created in the image of God. God sees you and delights and calls you and this very very good. Good boy. And the first thing God did that Monday morning was created music. Let us pray together. God, let us give thanks for the wonderful world that you have created for us. Forgive us for not taking care of it, everything as you would have it, want it done. Thank you for giving us your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for sin of not having simple life and of not loving each other as our brother and not having care, take care of the world and the abundance that you have provided for us. We come before you today to pledge our gifts and our abundance to the living Christ. Amen.
Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all their multitude. On the sixth day God finished the work that he had done, and he rested on the seventh day from all the work that he had done. So God blessed the seventh day and hallowed it, because on it God rested from all the work that he had done in creation. By the seventh day, God had finished his work. On the seventh day, he rested from all his work. God blessed the seventh day. He made it a holy day, because on that day, he rested from his work, all the creating God had done. This is the story of how it all started, of heaven and earth when they were created. <laughs> 